So what's happening guys, back with another supplement review. This is David with Mission to Muscle. Hope your day is going well. I just finished a workout. We're gonna jump right into this. I got a pre-workout review for you guys. This is a daily driver for those that are looking for daily drivers. And I'm going to throw in at the end something you can actually stack with this just in case you're a stem junkie and you want that extra kick from a daily driver and you're trying to keep your caffeine down. But we'll get into the Mission to Muscle at hand here. And that is delivering the information on set for sets here it goes always ready pre-workout now we're going to get the flavor out of the way and the scoop size and we'll get into the ingredient profile and the effects on this thing so right off the top here we have a sour gummy flavor and it's all right so it's not like a flavor gods came down to zap this with, with the greatest taste ever but you're going to see the ingredient profile is pretty it's a pretty good size ingredient profile at two scoops. So one scoop and two scoop dose. So, you know, it's hard to kind of mask some of these flavors, but there is no aftertaste whatsoever. It's going to go down nice and smooth. It's just not going to be one of those pre-workouts that you want to sip on for a long period of time. Although, I don't know who does that. <laughs> I want to get it in, get it down, get it digesting so I can hit the gym myself. So, just so you know, on the serving size here on the scooper, just in case you don't have a scale... This is a one scoop, two scoop dose. We're going to go off the two scoop and we go over the ingredient profile. But one scoop is 12.8 grams and you double that for two scoops. And just so you know, if you're going to do this and you don't have a scale, it's not really a flat level scoop and it's not like a heaping, uh, heaping scoop or anything like that. But you kind of want to get it down to where there's like a little, little dome on the top of it. So just shake it around until there's just like a little dome like that on top of it. And don't worry, this is not a high stem junkie pre-workout. So if you go over a little bit, it's uh, no big deal. So there you go. Hopefully that's zooming in okay there for you. So get it into the ingredient profile. So then we can get into the effects because that's the most important thing. Is Does this thing deliver? So right on the top here, we have some B vitamins. We've got B1 or B, was it B3, B6, and B12. I'm getting old. And they're making these, this print like smaller and smaller, it seems like. So this is for the metabolism of carbohydrates and fats, a little bit of energy there. Then we get into a pump section here. There is no matrix, no mystery matrix, so I just I love that. This is all disclosed. Everything's disclosed, and we're going off the two scoops. We've got L-citrulline, 9 grams. This is for vasodilation, pumps, endurance in the gym. Malic acid, 3 grams. That's for ATP production through the Krebs cycle to give you more energy during your workout there. Then we have glycer pump at 2.5 grams. That's going to be 65% glycerol. So you're getting right around 2 grams of glycerol, a little under 1. 1.6, 1. 1.8 grams of glycerol. That's for cell volumization, power output in the gym, and extra muscle endurance. Then we have agmatine sulfate at 1 gram. I love agmatine. Being a type 1 di diabetic, this is a great GDA deliverer. So this actually helps deliver glucose into the muscles, into the cells. It also controls ENOS, INOS, and NOS. So it keeps NOS and INOS down, which could cause brain fog and could cause some inflammation. And it elevates ENOS. So that's for the vasodilation, the pump, and the blood flow. Then we've got a strength and endurance blend here. Well, not really a blend, but a... I don't know what you went. It's on a matrix. What do I call it? We call it a blend? Yeah, blend. Betaine and hydrous at 2.5 grams, efficacious dose, power output in the gym, cell hydration, more muscle endurance. Then we got L taurine at 1.5 grams. It's for cell hydration, cell ba uh, hydration balancing, and uh, vasodilation, and some energy. Then we got L of ATP, which is a polyphenol blend of, uh, what is it, Ancient Peak and Apple Extract. I have some good effects on this thing. 150 milligrams. This is going to naturally produce ATP in the body for extra power output and strength and endurance in the gym. Then we got a Focus Blend here of L-Tyrosine at 2 grams. That's for an adrenaline kick, noradrenaline, and dopamine kick for focus, cognitive function, and also enduring stress during a workout. Then we got alpha GPC, 50%, 600 milligrams. That is the perfect dose for endurance in the gym and power output in the gym, elevated growth hormone levels, and also that cognitive function and focus with muscle contractions and endurance. Then we have heparin A, 40 milligrams. It's at 1%. I wish they would just put in the you know the amount of the heparin. They, a lot of all the companies do that. Just put like a 1%, and that makes it look bigger. 
40 milligrams when it's a bunch of micrograms here. But this is a uh, choline enhancer by blocking an enzyme that degrades choline in the body. So it keeps choline elevated and helps the body produce more choline. Then we have an energy blend of caffeine and hydrous at 300 milligrams daily driver dose. Then we got L-theanine, 150 milligrams. So this is, when you see L-theanine in a product, it is a calming and anxiety agent. So you see it in a lot of sleep aids. But coupled with caffeine, and this is at a one-to-one -one ratio though, but coupled with caffeine, it's supposed to keep the endurance or the energy longer and it's supposed to sustain it. And then it's supposed to kind of dial down any anxious feelings and it's supposed to elevate cognitive function as well, the cognitive effects of caffeine. Then we got isocinephrine at 20 milligrams. That's going to kick a little the adrenaline into your system. It's going to also going to help with some fat burning effects. And coupled with caffeine, you're going to get some energy effects as well. And then we got an absorption matrix as black pepper fruit, which extract at 95% was the pepper. Nejuan, <laughs> I don't even. And then we got 10 milligrams. This is for the digestion of everything. Get in your system as quick as possible so you can get your ass in the jam and start crushing it. So, set for set, always ready pre-workout. How did it do? So you're gonna first take the scoop. As you can see, there's no beta alanine in it, and I'm fine with that. You know, don't get hung up with some of this stuff as far as beta alanine. This has a ton of endurance benefits to it as far as the ingredients. And beta alanine is not the end-all be-all for actually endurance, less fatigue, and more reps and more sets in the gym. You can do just fine if a pre-workout is really stacked well and really delivers well. So no beta alanine. So you don't feel any beta alanine coming in. Uh, no tingles, no itching, scratching. So if that's what you're looking for, then this is something that you want to continue to listen to as far as the effects. Surprisingly enough, there is no caffeine citrate. There is no DMHA or anything like that. 25 minutes, you get a little energy kick with a cognitive function. So I was kind of, I kept looking at the label. What the hell? Why is this thing kicking in at 25 minutes for me? 30 minutes is when you actually, 30 to 35 minutes, you actually really feel it. And you're like, you're like, I mean, you don't feel it at its peak, but you feel it. So I'm just like, I kept looking at this. Is it the isocinephrine? I just think that the quality of these ingredients are just really, really good quality. So I give it up to the company because this thing hits really good. Everything comes in really smooth. Maybe it's the 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 black pepper extract and misdigesting really quick for us. I don't know, but it comes in. You get an awakened feeling. You get a cognitive function. You're going to feel it for sure within 30 to 35 minutes. And this thing peaks about 55 minutes in. So you're pretty much ready to go. you got a cognitive function and an energy that's going to sustain you for a good crushing workout for an hour and a half to two hours. So the energy on this thing, the energy is not this super anxious high high end energy but there is a little anxious type feeling below it because i believe because of the adrenaline kick once you start moving and that and the fat starts breaking down and that synephrine starts working and there is an adrenaline an underlying adrenaline kick that you feel that's kind of like a little bit of an anxious feeling but it's not crazy so no heart racing, no elevated heart rate. At least I didn't get it, but some people are sensitive. So synephrine, you want to watch out for for those that are sensitive because it can elevate the heart rate. It can elevate the blood pressure. So this is sustained, medium feeling energy, but it is just like crushing energy. You will just, it's a set for set, for set type, I think the company, set for set. It's a set for set type pre-workout. So the energy is sustained. It's not like this this thing where you're going to want to like jump on set after set with this anxious feeling, 30 seconds, boom, and knocking it out. It's going to be this nice sustained energy set for set type pre-workout just a bodybuilding set for set type pre-workout that's going to last you with endurance and energy for an hour and a half to two hours you will crush your workout and as you can see you will sweat it's this synephrine hits really well with that uh, tyrosine spiking the uh the uh thyroid and you get a really really good sweat on this thing although i do sweat pretty good i drink a ton of water so you know i mean you might not sweat like me focus on this thing focus comes in and it is this dialed in and i'd say the energy is that medium level kick the focus is like a medium high so you're not in a nootropic bubble but it's just clean clean hitting focus that really di I, I was really impressed with this so i'm not trying i don't have any codes for this thing at all 
I, I, nothing at all. They didn't. They just sent it to me. I didn't even talk to them after they sent it. They just they just emailed me and said, "Can we send you a pre workout to review?" And I just emailed back, "Sure, here's my address." Never heard anything back from them, but got this delivered. So I know nothing about the company to be honest with you. But I'm telling you, the focus on this thing. If you're in the bodybuilding style train, you're looking at a bodybuilding style pre workout, a daily driver pre. The focus on this thing is going to get you dialed in to your sets just going to get dialed in on the treadmill you're going to you're going to feel good on this thing there's some sort of an elevated type mood feeling of well-being so you don't not happy or anything like that but you feel when this thing starts to kick in you even feel good i really like this and i'm going to tell you what i stacked with this that made it like that feeling of that like adrenaline kick stim junkie kick after i go over the pumps on this thing the pumps are crazy you will not need a pump product with this. You're going to get swelling, tightness, and vasodilation. I am really impressed with this pre-workout, to be honest with you. And I am happy to actually tell you guys about it. Because I, if you are looking for a daily driver with no added in anything, like you don't want anything added, but you want something that's going to wake you up, get you in the gym, give you endurance, give you power, give you focus, give you energy, all that stuff... This actually for a daily driver pre this is this really impressed me. So what I added for those that those sting jump stim junkies out there, those that like that adrenaline kick, because I love the adrenaline kick and that like kind of like stepping things up to where you're in that like oh get shit done attitude, like you're just crushing it, that you feel good, and you're just like, yeah, yeah, I want to work out more and more. Then what I added to this thing was I added uh one of these uh Yohim uh Yohimbine here by jack factory i'll put a link down below this is just i just have this on my shelf uh, this is going to hit like about two milligrams of alpha yo just so you guys know for those that are sensitive to alpha yo and this is actually uh it's 120 milligrams of yohim yohimbi bark extract at two percent yohimbine so i think it's about five milligrams is what it comes to so it's gonna you're gonna get a little bit of effects to uh, to it if you're sensitive to alpha yo or you himbine and the way to not get the effects on something like this is to take it right before you train and it worked out really good i took it different ways i took it like with the pre-workout because i took this thing a lot <laughs> i like this pre-workout i took this thing a lot and um i took it like right before i trained i took it with the pre-workout and what I notice is when I take it when I take it right before I train, I don't feel any of the effects, and it kicks in in about 20 minutes. So like you're working out on the treadmill, you're you're warming up, and then you start training, and all of a sudden, about 20 minutes in, you go from like this, moving like this, to moving like this. <laughs> you know, you're just like holy adrenaline kick. <laughs> so. Hey, I hope this review helped. I hope I didn't get too a little nutty on this thing, and I'm just trying to deliver you guys the information. I will find out the links to this company. Uh, if I can find out their Instagram or something like that, i put it down below if you guys want to check out anything else that they're selling. But once again, set for set, always ready, pre-workout. This is Dave. If you can, before you leave, give the video a thumbs up. It does help the channel. If you have any comments at all, any questions, leave them down below. I will get to them. I will answer you guys. Other than that, i got to get running off with my day. I hope you guys have a fantastic day yourself, and we'll see you guys next time on the channel.